Hey y'all, Lev Farmer 73 here. The temperature done dropped a little bit, so I got my jacket on. But yesterday was a big day. I don't know if you guys seen the video where I ran live and we caught the biggest swarm we've ever seen in our lives. The biggest honeybee swarm with no effort. If you didn't see that video, trust me, you'll do yourself a favor by going back and watching that. Because it's a live running miracle. Anyway, I'm out here today even though we got the swarm going. I'm going to keep y'all posted on that. The garden must go on, okay? Um, right now, I said before this day is out, I've been procrastinating all day. I said before this day is out, I'm going to get these tomatoes and these peppers in the box before this day is done. So I'm gonna take y'all with me to do that real quick. I, it's so simple what I do. I don't go too crazy with it. I just, you'll see, all right? So here we go. All right, this year, the weather's been so crazy. That's what killed off my hives. That's what killed off some of my citrus trees that I got tomatoes and peppers growing from seed, but it's going so slow that uh, I said, you know what, I'm not, I can't w keep waiting. Got me some uh, starters from one of my favorite nurseries around here down in Columbia, South Carolina, Seven Oaks Nursery. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I get down with this. This is one of my favorite boxes. I rotate from this box to the box right over here behind it. I, one year I do tomatoes on this one, then I do it in that one. Sometime I do it two years. It's gonna be my second year in this box. And next year, I'll put something else in this box. It, it, it helps fight disease that way. That's what they say. So far, it's been working. So, all right, hang on tight, and I'm gonna show you what I do. Make it super easy for you. This year, I got uh, really big jalapeno peppers. I love my jalapeno peppers. So I got the jumbo, they call it a, uh, oh man, mucho nacho. They're the really big ones. They're good for stuffing, you know, and they're not super, super hot. I like a little fire on them, but they're not super, super hot. So I'm going to try them this year. I had them a long time ago. They worked out well, but I've never seen them again. So, all right, here we go. Now, oh, let me show you one other thing. This really helps me, okay? A lot of people, and you'll see my garden from last year. I did this, started doing this last year. A friend of mine did it uh, here locally, and it worked so well. I said I was going to try it, and it worked like gangbusters. You hear me? What I did, well, what she did, she uses a cattle panel, and she just goes down the row in her uh, garden with it and it's really thick anybody knows what cattle panel is just really thick fencing okay and with that what you can do is you can string your tomatoes up to here I always just let them get a little higher than this and i snip them off i don't care if they're uh if they uh keep growing or or not I snip them off about a foot over top of this cattle panel, and this cattle panel is about five feet tall. No, 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 about four and a half feet tall. Okay, you can tie them up to this, and then you can grab them. Sometimes you can't get at them. You come at them through this, stick your hand through here, grab your tomatoes. It just works. I mean, I love this thing. This is the only way I'll grow tomatoes from now on. Don't look bad. It's just, it just works. Okay, so when the tomatoes grow up, all you end up seeing is the tomatoes across that panel. You don't even see the panel out here from the street. The neighbors don't see that. So anyway, this is how fast I do it. With this wood chip gardening, you might see a lot of worms and stuff pop out. It's just, it's way easier. Get down in the good stuff. Now look, look what those wood chips turned into. Look at that black soil. That's what these wood chips turn into, y'all. Remember, what nothing in here but wood chips. That's it. Okay? I just added more when I got all of this. Still got to spread this out and thin it out. Now, back to action. Let me back this up a little bit. I'm not going to do a whole bunch of talking. I'm just going to get to work.
look at how beautiful that is. God, we don't need fertilizer or nothing when you got it like that. See that? Wood chips, coffee grounds, eggshells, banana peels, chicken crap, goose crap. That's what that's what does. This ain't nothing really but a big compost pile. See that? Get all the way down and put nothing. Now, I got six tomato plants and I only put them a foot apart because what you don't want to do, if you want your plants to get really big, you give them a good spacing, like two to three feet apart. I don't, I give them just about a foot because I don't mind it. I don't really even want them to get that big. So I don't mind them being close together, okay? This is how I do it every year and it just works for me. This one, got a mortgage lifter. That's an inside joke. I'll tell you all about that later. Now the only thing I'm going to show you is when I plant my tomato plants, I plant that sucker all the way up to here. I plant them deep, okay, to give it a better root system to hold on to stand strong. It, it works every year for me. Hey, what's going on, man? What's going on? I got a visitor. I'll be back.